So this is the second video covering activity three and I'm looking at query B. This is the more complex query. But before I actually get into this, can I just remind you to make sure you save your queries, use the prefix QRY and then appropriate name. This is what the examiner is looking for, is the use, correct use of prefixes for the objects in your database. So let's have a look at B now. Create a query that will calculate and display the age of players, for example, 16, the number of players for each age, number of yellow cards for each age, and the highest number of goals for each age. And just before I actually start doing the query, I've just opened up TBL Player here. And I just want to remind you that we only have eight players. When we come to do this query, the first one that I do, it will look like there are 11 players. And the reason for that is because some players have had more than one position. And as soon as you add fields from player position, it means it's counting those players twice or maybe three times depending on which positions they've held. So we'll have a look at this query first of all just ignoring the fact that a player can have a number of positions. So I'm now in the database, I've clicked on create and gone to query design and the first thing we need to do is put the tables into the query. Well we need the players date of birth, that's in TBL player. We need the number of players and we can do that from the player ID of player position. We need the number of yellow cards, so that's in player position as well. And we need the highest number of goals, and that's in player position as well. The first thing I'm going to do now is work out each player's age and put them into an age group, if you like. In this first column, I'm going to work out the age group for each player. So age group, and then I'm going to do a right mouse click and go into build to build up this column. So we need to work out the age of each person. And again, just a word of warning when you do this, depending on when you run it, because you're using the date of the system, you may get some different results because obviously people's date of birth, as you move on in time, people's birthdays occur and they will move into the next age group. So first thing is just to find out the difference between the current date and the player's date of birth. And we can do this by using date minus player's date of birth. And if we just put brackets around that to make sure it works that out first, and then divide it by 365.25, uh, that should give us the year, the number of years, if you like. Just click on OK on that, and let's just see what we've got. So if I widen that, you can see we've got the age group, but we need an integer because we've got a number of decimal places there. So let's go back to design, OK, go back to build. And all I'm going to do is use the integer function now before that. So int and open bracket and come along to the end and close the bracket. So that should work out the integer of the ages working from the date of birth. And again, let's just have a quick look at it. And there we've got our age groups. And you can see for each person, it's worked out which age group they are. And we need to group those together. We're going to need the totals row in our design grid. So if we just click on the totals button, you can see now we've got the totals row in the grid and we've got group by on our age group. And the effect of doing that grouping has grouped together all the records. So now we've just got 15, 16, 17 and 18. In the next column, we're going to work out the number of players in each age group. Again, it's going to be a calculation, number of players. And again, I'll do a right mouse click and just go into build. And we want the number of players. And we're going to do that on player ID and click on OK. And just make sure that's on TBL player position. Then we want to work out the number of yellow cards. 
Again, right mouse click, go into build, and the number of yellow cards we're going to do on player position yellow cards. And OK. And for that one, we want to do a sum. Just come back to this number of players, sorry. This needs to be a count because we want to count the number of players. We want to add up the number of yellow cards. And then in this final column, we're going to find the highest number of goals. So max, no goals, right mouse click, build. And we're going to use a player position goals for this. So PP goals. And OK. And this one, rather than group by count or sum, because we find the highest, we want to find the maximum. And here we are in datasheet view. We've got our age groups. We've got our number of players. And just remind, if you just add this up, we've got three, four, six. We've got 11 players. Now, that's just not quite right, is it? Because we actually only have eight players. But because we've got these fields, no yellow cards and max no goals from TBL player position, it means that some of these players are in this query more than once. So that's the first way of doing this query, which the examiner, if you got it correct like this, would have given you the full marks. But there is another way of doing it, and it involves a little bit more, and I'm going to show you that in the next video.